This design is everywhere, everywhere. Let's see how it's properly done. Now, disclaimer before I start the video, I'm not saying I have the perfect methods to getting this design done, but I have an easy method. I've been seeing it everywhere and, you know, watching people get it done. And I'm like, life shouldn't be this hard. Honestly, it really should not be this hard. So I'm going to be showing you how I'll do it on this um, press on nail. I'm going to make it into a press on nail, basically. Um, I already prepped my nail tip and I'm just applying base coat over it. If you're new here, hello and welcome. My name is Victoria. This is Victoria TCS. TCS stands for the Classy Splash, which is the name of my nail studio. Okay, so here I teach nails, everything designs on nails, and some other stuff that just randomly jump into my head basically. So today we're going to be doing this vertical ombre design, and yeah. I'm pretty sure this is would this will not be the first time you guys would be seeing this design but I'm going to show you how I think it's easy to do so I'm going to show you like an easier method basically on how to get it done so the previous nail I did I put it in the lamp for 60 seconds and since I was repeating that I just threw that in the lamp for 60 seconds also so I'm going to be using this um, burnt orange color in all honesty I don't know where to put this color really <laughs> but i just call it burnt orange and i'm going to be using that on the entire tip of the nail on the entire tip so yeah that's what we're going to be using um if this is your first time here welcome but if you're a returning subscriber it is so great to have you guys you guys like i think i'm on about a thousand and thirty subscribers right now i couldn't have made it here without you guys you guys are the best totally the best thank you for watching all my videos thank you for you know subscribing thank you for the likes the comments i really appreciate it and like i always say if you have any designs that you would like me to recreate for you to see please let me know in the comments so that i can get that done okay so back to the video um i'm still applying the burnt orange on um, the nail tips and I'm just going to show you how I do one set because I don't want this video to be longer than it ought to be and I just want to get it done so that you guys get the full grasp of what the design should be so now after applying this burnt orange color on the nail tips or on the nail if you're doing it directly on someone's nails instead of putting it in the lamp directly to cure for 60 seconds or 120 20 seconds depending on the polish you're using you're just going to get your clear powder um this um clear powder i designated to doing this kind of design basically you can get your clear powder and just pour it all over the nail i wanted um i felt like that tip i was using was too small so i wanted to use something bigger then i wanted to do it really really fast but then i realized that nah i would have to bring out everything one by one and pour it out so that's what you see me doing here all you need to um, what you're trying to achieve basically is you want the gel polish you put on earlier on the wet gel polish to absorb the clear powder don't worry about it by the time you put this in the lamp it is still going to dry trust me it's going to dry it's not going to affect the gel polish that you put underneath it it's just going to give it a textured look for you to be able to get um, this ombre design you have to have that textured um feel to the nail so that your polishes are not slipping and sliding into each other that's the main reason why you are um applying the clear powder on the nail to avoid any slips and slides for easy and smooth ombre effect <laughs> if that makes any sense but i'm sure you guys get what i mean so i'm just going to pour my clear powder all over that then put it in the lab for 60 seconds clear out the table that i used because clear powder can be quite slippery in all honesty especially on a very very smooth surface and then i'm just dusting off that excess clear powder from the nail tip um you want to do that so that you don't get grains when you are working now we're well, going to the fun part you have to polish one side of the um 
of the nail tip or your nails with the base color that you used which is this burnt orange in my case i was going to do them one by one but then i'm like nah let me just go through everything at once so that i apply all the polishes at once and this is a good thing because i have that texture underneath i can apply this and be sure and confident that my polish is not going to move do you understand i can be very very confident that my polish is just going to stay exactly where i put it so that's the upside to doing it this way with the clear powder you can be sure that your polish is not going to slip and slide because your polish has the tendency to self-level itself do you understand so it always wants to self-level itself but um the grains will catch it in such a way that it will not move i hope that makes sense so once i'm done with that side i'm trying to make sure that i have enough and it is even so once i'm done with that half i'm going to go in with this light um brown color i think the name of this color is autumn um i feel like the contrast between the colors are just very very beautiful i've been seeing a lot of whites contrast with whites but i just wanted to you know try classic um shades of um brown basically and i felt like this um this burnt orange is going to work well with this really really light brown shade and you would notice immediately that everybody is staying in their lane nobody is um trespassing into another person's property <laughs> anyways everybody is staying in their lane um the polishes are not mixing they are not sliding they are just exactly where you put them and that is why i can go over all five fingers like this without worrying about trying to catch the polishes do you understand so yeah um uh, once i'm done with that i'm going to go in with this flat brush that i have and because it's a flat brush it will help with the ombre and i'm just going to take that off of the stand and then just start to blend basically blend for dear life just blend 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 and that grainy texture is going to help you so much your polish will not be slippery and all of that is just going to stay exactly where you put it whatever you touch is where it's going to stay it's not going to you know be moving around and look at how nice that ombre is you want to clean your brush in between each ombre so i'm just going to pour acetone over that um paper towel and clean my brush on there and go back to the second one and then blend for dear life also so all you're going to be seeing me doing for the next probably two minutes is blending you want to make sure that everything you have um everything you put on the nail is blended properly you don't want any form of harsh lines you don't want any form of harsh lines i really liked the way i blended this particular one out and it just made me realize that wait a minute i can do better with the first two that i did so i went back in there and worked my way backwards instead of forwards so backwards into the burnt orange instead of forward into the um darker into the lighter shade sorry so since i realized that that method was better i started working backwards so if you um go back like um rewind the video and go back you would realize that i was working forward before but since i realized that backwards work back <laughs> since i realized that backwards work works better whatever guys it shall work in <laughs> so you see me doing the same here but then i made a little mistake here and i purposely left it i swiped up did you see that and because i swiped up i completely removed the um lighter shade from that side so you just want to work in one direction and remember that it's the darker shade that's underneath and then i just went back in with the color and blended together and there you go guys look at that beautiful vertical ombre like it's so cute and then i put down the lamp for 60 seconds i repeated the same thing on the other stand and then this is the first one i put in back out of the lamp um i was going to do some i knew i was going to do some french designs like you guys have been seeing all over instagram and pinterest 
but I, I didn't want it to just be French I wanted to try other stuff too so I decided to um, paint in reverses because I wasn't at this point to be honest I wasn't sure what I was going to do but I knew it was going to turn out nice so this is just me painting in reverse on both nails on like I just picked the pointer finger and the ring finger and I'm just painting in reverse on both nails don't worry I have plans for it so remember we still have that textured feel on the nail so I am still very sure that this is not going to slip and slide anywhere basically and I'm just going to blend out those two that I just did I haven't done anything to the other ones so I'm just going to blend out those two that I just did and you know blend them out the very same way I was doing the first one um, I added to add more acetone to the um, paper towel because it was already feeling quite dry and then the more I blended the more I felt comfortable and once I was done with that I was done with it went on to the next one blended again in all honesty your blending is key and um, the texture of the clear powder is just going to make the blending easier but you yourself have to blend properly so i just got my um tray and i'm going to i poured acetone in that and i'm just going to wipe I'm, i wasn't sure what i was going to do here so i was just winging it and that was me pausing to think <laughs> and then i just wiped out some corners because i wanted like that um what's it called um i can't find the english for it right now but i just wanted that contrast between it going um the br dark brown and the light brown the dark brown and the light brown that kind of thing just to confuse people and to me it looked so nice i felt it was pretty it was different and i absolutely loved it that was me just trying to get my lines as crisp as possible and then on this one i wasn't sure what i wanted to do but then i realized that that brush was probably too big for what i wanted i got a smaller flat brush and then i just worked with that instead you guys one mistake i made for this particular one yes i left in all my mistakes too one mistake i made for this particular one was that i wasn't um i wasn't wiping off the acetone from the brush very well so it was still quite wet hence it was causing the um the gel polish to bleed out a little bit so if you're going to be doing a design where you need to clean like this just make sure that you wipe that brush on the paper towel properly before you go into the um before you go into the before you go onto the nails basically yes that's what i was trying to say before you go onto the nails this is me still wiping trying to figure out okay what do i want to do what do i not want to do when i was doing now that was me <laughs> making a mistake and um the mistake was i wiped off one of the lines that i did i wasn't sure <laughs> if it was supposed to be there so i just painted that back on it was not a biggie i just painted that back on the nail and corrected it you won't even know that something like that happened by the time you look at the nails it just looks like oh it was there all along and i went up the top a little bit so you can literally do anything with this depending on the kind of brush that you have in the moment how creative you can get this was just me winging it off the top of my head nothing serious so i decided to show you guys the second um part because i made some minor adjustments to the second hand and i felt like this one was way prettier than the first one and look at how i did it it's f just following the same technique but you would realize that i was wiping off the um the acetone more this time around from my brush before going in on the nail and look at how nice dry and crisp that was looking there was no bleeding this time around which i was really really happy with so yeah when you're working with your acetone you just need to be light-handed basically but you still get the desired effect that you want to get
in all honesty this one looked way better than the first one because i didn't have any bleeding colors and i created more even um swirls or gaps <laughs> this time around so now i'm just going to go in with my french this was the first one i had already cured it in the lamp for 60 seconds and i'm just going to take my stripy brush if you've been seeing me work a lot and doing french you know that this stripy brush is like my fave ever so i'm just going to take that out and now what you want to do is you want to paint the opposite color on the opposite side so i'm going to be putting the burnt orange where the um amber color is well not literally amber but like where the light brown color is and i'm just going to be doing it halfway so you want to polish it halfway if you're not very good with your french don't worry i have a video on that and i'm going to link it in the cards yeah so um you just see me applying creating that box yes creating that box or semi box or i don't know <laughs> creating that outline yes that's the perfect word creating that outline and then leaving it i would go back in to the to draw the remaining outline um once i'm ready to use the light brown color but even if i left it like this honestly it looked really really cute i'm not even gonna lie it looked really cute even just leaving it like this but we all want to see the french um vertical fade so i'm going to give you the french vertical fade all right um this is me just adjusting making sure that my lines are crisp and nice nothing is looking wonky nothing is spilling into anything and that texture is still helping me hold everything in place don't worry about the texture it might look grainy now but by the time you apply that top coat you would forget that there was ever a texture and that is the awesomeness of the magic trick <laughs> anyways so putting our colors there um and then i'll go in with the with the light brown but then i think i realized that there was a there was um a bit of a gap or mistake on the big nail but i think maybe that was later or something like that but anyways i went in with my lighter color and drew my lines my outline making sure that it's almost like it has to be the same thing basically it has to be equal on both sides so that you don't walk in error do you understand and that's what you see me doing here If you're enjoying the video so far please let me know by liking it leave a comment let me know do you have a different method that you use please i would love to hear about it just let me know um if you have questions about any method i used in this video and you don't understand or you just feel like i'm speaking strange words <laughs> let me know also your feedbacks are always like really really great to help me um to help me work better basically and if you're familiar with my old videos let me know if this um method of filming um from the top if you realized i changed my filming angle yes i changed my filming angle if this is better than the last one please let me know if not let me know also so i'm just repeating the exact same thing i did to the um to the top part on the bottom part also i already blended the first one and all you see me doing right now is blending the second one yes then i realized that there were there was a lot of product on that side and i just pulled it back down 
we don't want any kind of mistakes and this was what i was talking about earlier on talking about how um there was a gap i missed so i'm just getting that crisp and tight but i couldn't get it really crisp so i decided to just go in with my brush and nick that off okay so that's what i did there and i went back in with the um light brown to the portion that needed the light brown basically and i just repeated the steps again so that's what you see me doing here Now that I'm done with that, it's going in the lamp for 60 seconds. This is our nail all dried up and ready for the sweet, luscious top coat. This design is so nice. In all honesty, it's, it um, takes a lot, you know, it takes a lot of patience and patience, basically. But then once you get it right, trust me, you get it right. Like, nothing can take that away from you. And the fact that you can just be creative with the entire process, you can wing it however you want, you can, you know, draw whatever you want on it and have that effect just makes it a whole more exciting a design. So yes, I, I absolutely love this design. And if you like this design also, let me know, um, let me know in the comments, like I said previously, if um, you have a better method please let me know I'll try it out I definitely will try it out you know we learn every day and stuff um, if you're not yet subscribed to my channel like ugh, guy what are you waiting for I beg hit this subscribe button turn on your post notifications to know when I post like this because I will be posting a lot more of different designs and how to do them because I love teaching I love teaching nails it's fun <laughs> so yeah if you have any questions please ask in the comments or if you just want to tell me oh you have a lovely voice you can put that in the comments too i don't mind <laughs> so once i'm done top coating my nails i just put that in the lamp for 60 seconds and then it's time to you know shape up your nail tip properly so that it has that crisp look and you know it is appealing to look at so what i usually just do is because of the gel polish gel polish always adds um more to especially the tip of the nail so i always like to go back in make sure that it is straight and crisp okay can you see how different that is compared to how it was the first time don't worry i'm still going to clean the surface of the nail i know you guys are wondering oh she's touching the face Ugh, i'm still going to clean it so there's no need to <laughs> worry about that i just like doing this last after my top coat so that everything is crisp and sharp okay and now let's check out the reveals Ooh, la la. wow this was really really fun to make i'm sure you guys enjoyed this video as much as i enjoyed making it thank you for subscribing thank you for always always sticking with me put your leave your questions in the comments don't forget to give me a thumbs up and i'll definitely be seeing you guys in the next video all right bye